Hey everyone, today's video is about when they see you shirtless. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki. As someone who knows Bakugo, everyone is just going to expect him to be calm, maybe even walk away without saying anything, or just stare. But Bakugo, maybe he stares, but he's just not silent about it. He's not anywhere near calm. He's just really frustrated, and he would stare. Yeah, unsurprisingly. I mean, he just wanted some papers. The papers that he left on your bed, more like forgot. And he came back to get them. But then he forgot the whole knocking thing and then opened the door. What the hell? Get out! What are you staring at? Oh, oh um, I just came here to get my papers and... <sighs> and you're looking at me. Yeah, I see. Get out, you pervert. Oh, God. He can't even look you in the eyes after this. How did he even stare? You're probably so uncomfortable now. Hey, I'm sorry. It's alright, I know you didn't mean it. But hey, don't stare at me like that again. Yeah, whatever. You deserve it. What the heck is wrong with you? You really are a pervert. Daughter Kishoto. You weren't wearing anything. Shirtless and even pantless. Yeah, you had some underwears on. And maybe even about to put on some bras. But he just got in. You don't know what happened. You don't know how he just got out in a second. But you just knew that he was going to be so flustered. You giggled at him. Knowing that he won't even look you in the eyes after he sees you. Uh, hey... Don't worry about it. I mean, I know you didn't mean it, yeah? I'm really sorry, Wyon. He was just as red as a tomato. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I... I'm flustered too. But it's not like I can do anything about it, right? Just don't do that. Knock. Alright. I... I am... I really... I'm sorry. I believe you. Don't worry. He had to worry. Kurishi Majiro. This cute baby is a dumb cute baby. He's really dumb, really. He just found the candy that you have been talking about, and you haven't been able to find it at all. You have been talking about it for a long time now. And so, he bought it and decided to surprise you. The second he found it, he just thought of you, and he just bought it, sprung up to where your dorm was, and didn't even bother knocking. No, just straight up knocked over the door. Hey, Wyon, I got the... the... for... Ah! Shit. Sorry, Wyon. I'm really sorry. He got out, closed the door behind him and waited while gripping his hair. Hey, are you right there? You noticed how his cheeks were red. They were burning. Yeah, I'm just really embarrassed. How didn't I knock? It's all right. Not really, but, you know, I know you didn't mean anything by this, so don't worry. Yeah, right. Yeah, and he worried. He had nightmares. No, not what you're thinking of. Ninki Kaminari. We all know this bitch is a pervert, so when he got in and saw you wearing nothing, he just stared. More like drooled. Hey, what the heck, Ninki? Get outside! Um, I'm sorry, but you look gorgeous. What the heck is up with you? Get out now. 
All right, sorry. And he got outside. It's not because of how scared he was of you. No, definitely not. So he waited until you were outside and then kissed you on the lips. I'm sorry, all right? I did mean it, but... Hey! You playfully shoved him away. <sighs> I'm disappointed in you. Are you gonna do that to anybody? What? No. It's just because it was you, Lion. That made me kind of uncomfortable, you know? Oh, really? I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna do that again, then. Did you just assume that I was not uncomfortable by you staring at me? <sighs> Who wouldn't be? Right, I'm sorry. I'm dumb. You really are. I know. And we have Midori Izuku, the person who is not really most of the time here. Hey bro, we gotta go. So you can just continue and go to your room. No, I really don't have to. I mean, Lion's dorm is right here. Oh, right. We totally forgot about this. Uh, don't have too much fun, yeah? <clears throat> don't say that. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Come on, Mina, we gotta go. I know. Bye, guys. Bye, Midoriya. And he didn't bother knocking. No, because he just was too bothered thinking about what they were saying to him. He opened the door, and then he saw you. Wearing absolutely nothing other than your pants. Um, why aren't I? Oh, get outside. What the heck? I'm sorry. He got outside and just kind of gripped his hair. If he could, he just could have just ran to his room, but he knew it was too far and he knew you would have caught up with him anyway. Oh, how much you wished the ground would just open up and swallow him. Hey, Midoriya, are you alright? Don't have a panic attack, yeah? Yeah, I won't. Look, Wyan, I really didn't mean it, I'm sorry. Hey, I know you didn't mean it. Otherwise, I would be really mad at you. Right. I'm sorry, then. Don't worry. Though, you gotta learn how to knock. I'm working on it. <laughs> I know. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.